everyone, we're back. My name is Ms. Kyle Tanager, and I am playing some Silent Hill 4. So, I believe I know what I'm doing <laughs> at this point. Granted, famous last words. Can you knock it off with the sound effects, hon? Because I ain't about that life. I ain't about your spoopiness. Alright, come on. Come on, Eileen. Let's get the truck out of here. Because I got places to be. Games to play. Dumbass, it's a smack with an axe. Let me can't use it here. There we go. Hear the sound of a clock from somewhere. Uh, it's this way. Come on, we gotta go. <laughs> okay. Yep. Come on, Eileen. Let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Before it's too late. At least I know where the door is that I have to go to. Oh, hey, it's right set up now. That's nice. I mean, the clock's upside down. Oh shit, that was a door. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Lock is broken. Why are there so many fucking ghosts here? I don't like this. Let's get the fuck out. Oh no. Hi, Jasper! Come on, Eileen. Can't go that way. Oh, can't go that- oh, these are all fake. <laughs> all these doors are fucking fake. Yep, let's go. Oh, fuck! Hi, Jasper! <laughs> oh, no! Ghosts! <laughs> Ow. No. No. Leave me alone. You're fine. No, fuck off, S Cynthia! Come on, we gotta go! Is she with me? Okay, she's with me. No. Stop. Wait, they have golf clubs, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do they have golf clubs? <laughs> no! Rude. Come at me. I'm gonna fuck you up. And I'm gonna take your golf clubs. Cause reasons. Can I take them? Oh, I can't take it. Cool. And now I quip. Because I might as well. I got a whole bunch of them at this point. Where's this one? Take it. These guys have earned my ire. <laughs> Bam! 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 I'm gonna get you. Aw, oh, you think you can kill me. That's fucking nice. I'm gonna take all your golf clubs. Why do these guys all have golf clubs? I don't know, but at least now I'll have a lot of golf clubs. Golf. Golf clubs. <laughs> All the golf clubs! Yeah. No, wait. <laughs> I need to pick that up. Because, uh, I need to use it. <laughs> okay. You got some shenanigans going on here? Ah, a door. Excellent. I don't like this room. <laughs> I don't like any room, let's be honest here. But... I'm just trying to get Eileen through this. Take me! Don't take her! Don't take my waifu! Okay, come on, Eileen. Move your ass. <laughs> I can be so nice to Eileen and so mean in the same breath. <laughs> oh, fuck! 
me. <laughs> well, at least I know where I'm going. Downside is the fucking Cynthia's in here. Ellen, come on. No! Bad! Down! No! Bad Cynthia! <laughs> Bad Cynthia! <laughs> okay, I got her with me. Okay, there goes one. So now I have to go all the way around. Yeah. Which is... Oh, fuck! <laughs> no, not the wheelchairs! Wheelchairs versus Eileen. Wheelchairs wins. Okay. No, no, no. Come on, we gotta go. Don't get hit by the wheelchairs, Eileen. <laughs> oh, no. Alright, come at me. Oh, candle! I need that. Hold up. <laughs> I missed that before. <laughs> Come here. I see you, Mr. Hummer. Come at me. No, you stay away from a girl. You stay away from her. We're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> okay. Stop. How you doing, Eileen? As long as she stays fine, I'm fine. Maybe. I might not be fine. I'm not really ever fine, let's be completely honest here. Alright, come on, Eileen. We got a jet. Got places to be. Got Sullivan's to kill. Oh, fuck off. No. No! <laughs> Rude. I kill. I stab. Come at me. Alright. And stomp. Right, come on, Eileen. Hopefully there's nothing terrible in this room. I mean, famous last words, but... How can she step over... That gap... With those heels and not at least trip? <laughs> oh, great. This is gonna take me five billion years to get to the bottom. Because we have to wait for Eileen to catch up. Because of her slow ass. Come on, Eileen. We gotta go right now to get to the apartment. I don't even know what tune that was. <laughs> Again, this would be much easier if Henry gave her a pair of tennis shoes. Or maybe we took a pair of tennis shoes from somewhere else. I don't know. <gasps> or just... You know, barefoot, actually. <laughs> Granted, she might get tetanus from stepping on some rusted thing, but... It's still better than running around this infested ghost town of a freaking game in high heels. Who am I kidding? The reason she's in high heels is because sex appeal of injured people. And sex appeal of women in games. <laughs> Let's be perfectly honest, that's why she's wearing heels. <laughs> Don't say- you can't say that she's not. Cutscene. You can't say that she's not. Because her alternate outfit is literally like a- What the fuck? This mesh is carved in the door. To reach the deepest part, you must defeat the one truth. Okay. Fuck. Okay, so it's not that one. Damn it. Okay. So it's not that one, and it's not that one. I assume something different will happen. Okay, so it's not that one. Why do I have to have Eileen in here? This is annoying as fuck. Okay. It's not that one. 
Okay, Eileen, stay in this corner. Hopefully you don't get hit in this corner. Which one is it? Come on. Why won't they come down? Ah, here it goes. Oh, tits. <laughs> okay, it's not that one. This is where Eileen takes a lot of damage, doesn't it? Because Lady does not know how to stay out of the way. Okay. Can't remember which one I have tried and which ones I haven't tried. Okay. Uh... Where's Eileen? Oh, there she is. Eileen, stay in that corner! No! Damn it, woman! <laughs> I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. Just you watch. I mean, I should have expected some sort of boss. Okay, it's not that one. It's not that one. I assume something different will happen when I hit the correct one. Okay, it's not that one either. I died. Well, <laughs> this is fine. Fuck. That is, I mean, it'd be nice if I could go into the center of the room, but I can't go into the center of the room. I am concerned. Oh good, at least it puts me right here. Tits. At least I got hit. No, it wasn't Eileen. Okay, we're gonna start from here. God damn it! Okay, not that one. We're gonna do this methodically. Okay, come down here! Not that one. Tits. Protecting Eileen in this is difficult. <laughs> okay. What? <laughs> he fucking nudged me. Okay, not that one. I still got hit though. Eventually I'll get it. Not that one. Okay. Or that one. Tits. I'm gonna die. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> I should go back to grab a healing item, but you know what? No. No. Now it is a matter of principle. <laughs> This boss fight is silly. Especially because it's trying to- you have to do it with Eileen. No, I'm gonna fucking do it. <laughs> Eventually. It might take me a minute, though. Now I'll start from the other direction. Ah! <laughs> the first one! First one! I got him! <laughs> Okay. Wow, very first try and it was the one next to the door. <laughs> Great. Keep going. Keep going until it dies. I assume it'll die eventually. Yes! <laughs> well, that was...
was a fair bit easier that time. Hope, I hope Eileen doesn't retain damage. Across continues. That would be bad. <laughs> but either way, it's finally time for us to go to the apartment world, which means we're getting close to the end of the game, y'all. And I already know what game's going to be replacing this one. And the game that's going to replace it is going to be Fear Effect for the PlayStation 1. Because I've never played it before. I have physical copies of Fear Effect 1 and 2. I've never even seen it before, so I don't even know the story. And I had people vote on what the next game was going to be after I finished MGS 2. And the poll said XCOM Chimera Squad, but Fear Effect was a very close second. And then the second time I looked at the poll, Fear Effect did one, and I went, well, crap. Please, don't leave me alone. I'm not. I'm right here with you, lady. Um... But that was after I'd already started to record Chimera Squad, so... Shrug. I was only going to record three Silent Hill videos today. But given how close I am... This is just horrible. I'm kind of thinking... I'm not going to do that. I'm kind of thinking on my record for because I've only been recording this one for 17 minutes. And if we're going to the final world that is the apartment world, I mean, probably only another video from the end of the game, I assume. Depending on how long the apartment world takes to get through, I should say. Is that a picture of fucking Walter? Great. I'm just gonna... Yeah, that tracks. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Walter, get the fuck out of my apartment! <laughs> get out! Yeah, fuck face. Okay. Any more ghosty goos? Because I don't have any more candles. I mean, you still have the ghosty goo that's over there. Somewhere. As far as I know. Oh, you read paper. Let's dump this broken one. Sand wedge. Okay. Uh, I'll keep one of these with me. No, who am I kidding? I'll keep none of them. Fuck it. <laughs> That's what I've just been doing this whole time. I've just mostly been using my hand axe because it's my favorite. Mm, I'll save after reading the note. There's a scrap of red paper stuck in here. Number one, ten heart. Number two, ten. Number three, ten hearts. Number four, ten hearts. Steve Garland. Number five, ten. Number ten, ten hearts. Billy Locaine, Miriam Locaine. So these must be the victims. And ten. A holy assumption. Okay, yeah. These are all. These are all the victims. So the first ten were the ten sinners. Victim eleven was Walter killing himself. Um, 12, Void, dark void Darkness, and Gloom, Despair, was Joseph Schreiber, which was, you know, poor dude who had the apartment before us. 16, Temptation, Cynthia, Source, Jasper, Watchfulness is, um, DeSalvo, Chaos is Braintree, The Mother is Eileen, and Wisdom is me! <laughs> I ain't wise. I am the opposite of wise. <laughs> Actually... Let's pull out a healing item just in case. Yeah. Just in case I get royally fucked up again. Actually, yeah. <laughs> just because I have a feeling that if it's the last level, that I'm, I'm assuming it's the last level, that it's going to throw everything in the kitchen sink at me. <laughs> All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. A clickety clack, a clickety snack, a clickety clue. <laughs> I'm tired. But no, we cannot be tired. We have a Silent Hill 4 to finish. This is the only Team Silent or Team Silent adjacent Silent Hill game that I have never played. Therefore, we must finish it. 
so that can be put to rights. Is that a dancing naked doll baby? <laughs> I should be surprised. I'm not. All right, here we go. Let me guess, 302. Yep! <laughs> oh wait, I don't have anything left. There we go. Okay. It's a diary on the ground. I had that weird dream today. The one with the man with the long hair and coat. He was crying and looking for his mother again. I saw that man with the coat 10 years ago at this apartment. He was going up the stairs carrying a heavy tool and an odd looking bowl and a bag that was dripping blood. I never saw him again after that. A few days later, the neighbors complained that they heard strange noises coming from the supposedly empty room 302. So I took a look around 302 and found the signs that someone has been in there, but nothing odd other than that. But that's when it all started. I still hear strange noises coming from the window of the room 302. Sunderland. Okay. Shenanigans are afoot. Ha! <gasps> it's covered! Covered in candles. Well, that didn't help you very much, did it, bro? There's an old picture book and a red book here. Ah, the red book he has been writing in. There was once a baby and a mother who were connected by a magical cord. But one day the cord was cut and the mother went to sleep. The baby was left all alone. But the baby made lots of friends at Wish House, did he, though? <laughs> and everyone was very nice to him. Were they, though? The baby was very happy. His friends told him how to wake up his mother, so the baby went right away to go and wake her up. But the mother wouldn't wake up, no matter how hard he tried, she wouldn't wake up. Because the one that he was trying to wake up was actually the devil. The baby had been deceived. Poor baby. The baby cried and cried and cried. When he thought of the mother, he remembered the feeling of being connected to her through the magical cord. Just then, a ray of light came down from the sky. The light was very warm and made the baby feel good. When the baby looked into his hand, he saw the magical cord was lying there. With the cord clutched in his hand, the baby went happily to sleep. So, what that's telling me is that what I need to do to kill Walter is to give him his umbilical cord. Which is in Frank Sunderland's apartment. Which is probably what we're going to have to do at this point. Crimson Tome. She who is called the Holy Mother be not, be not holy one whit. The descent of the Holy Mother is not but the descent of the devil. Those that be called the 21 sacraments be not sacramental one whit. The 21 sacraments be not but the 21 heresies. To give birth to a realm of wickedness within the blessed realm of our Lord be blasphemy in the work of the devil. If thou would stop the descent of the devil, you must bury part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the conjurer's true body. Thou must also pierce the conjurer's flesh with the eight spears of void, darkness, gloom, despair, temptation, source, watchfulness, and chaos. <laughs> Do so in the conjurer's unholy flesh will become that which which it once was by the grace of our Lord. So the eight spears would be the like the victims after Walt killed himself. Not including Eileen and Henry, obviously. So I assume that's going to be some boss battle shenanigans with piercing the eight whatever the fucks. There's the hole to Eileen's apartment. Door's locked. That's my room. Oh shit. <laughs> There's a piece of red paper. What's with this room? It's covered in blood and rust. This is my room, but what the hell is happening to it? This room, is it really my room? It's in terrible shape. The air is so heavy, my head hurts. Creepy, it looks like a face. What the hell am I writing? Oh, this is the rest of his diary. I can't break down the wall. Okay. I have a pickaxe, I can help with that. It's a piece of red paper. When the bell rings, Eileen equals mother's body blood. Okay. So, Joseph knew that Eileen was in trouble way back when. <laughs> the Crimson Tome. Bury part of the conjurer's mother's flesh within the true body of the conjurer. Part of the flesh equals the super's room. Yeah, the umbilical cord. The, th the thing that's obviously in um, Frank Sunderland's room. Now I just need to 
find Walter Sullivan Sullivan's actual body, I guess. Which bet you anything is like cask of Amontillado in the apartment somewhere. Can I not pick that up? Oh, okay. I bet you anything it is. I bet you anything it's Casco Montalado in somewhere. That ah, yep! Calling it, it's right here. Calling that Walter Sullivan's body is right in here. <laughs> Look at that wall. There's the hole, enter the hole. Uh no. <laughs> Gate to hell. Why must I destroy this wall? Bet you anything Walter Sullivan's body's in there. Wait. But I'm in the apartment. What? I'm in the apartment, but I'm gonna wake up in the apartment. Hold up. Hold up. I'm in the apartment, but I woke up in the apartment. Oh, this is sketchy as fuck. Um. And if I go into the bathroom. Yeah, it's still blocked up. Huh? Okay. I am confusion. <laughs> I I am confusion. Hi, Eileen. So I didn't do it. And it just kind of sucks she's going to have that 2021 20, scar for the rest of her life on her back, most likely. <gasps> That's nasty. It's him. Oh shit, it's Ghost Joseph. Well, to make it this far, I. Oh, he's holding her hand. Walter is he a good ghost or is this his giver of wisdom? Her. <laughs> it's a room. <laughs> And the last two he has to kill are those two. The mother reborn. Eileen Galvin. Number 21. The receiver of wisdom. Henry Townsend. Even now, this may not be. You're goddamn right, it's not too late. We're gonna kick his ass. Follow the crimson tone. Stop. So we need to get the umbilical cord, put it into Walter's body. Wherever and then we need to stab eight spear spears into a thing. <laughs> Fine. 
his true location. Well, I have a pickaxe. Let's take a pickaxe to the wall. Must be nearby. You must kill her. You must kill him. Kill her. Kill her. Kill her. Pickaxe! What did I say? She's She's number twenty. The mother is born. The crimson hole. Obey the crimson hole. Kill him. Yes, 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 I get that. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I understand, Joseph. He seems like a nice ghost. He's nicer than goddamn Cynthia. <sighs> Freaking Cynthia. Well. Pickaxe of hope. Maybe you can't use it here. <clears throat> what do you mean you can't? Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got your number, game. I got you. <laughs> Wait a minute. I got you. Okay, there's two places I could use it, either in the bathroom or here. Ah! Okay. What? It's just a dead body. It's not that bad. It's just a dead body, yo. It's not that bad. I've seen plenty of dead bodies in my life. They're not that gross. How did Frank Sundle not realize when he was showing Joseph or Henry the apartment before he got it that there was an entire section of the apartment that was missing? This is an entire room of the apartment that's missing here. Also, that's gross. But there's Walter's body! Right. It's nasty. A mortar and pestle is some kind of residue in it. Walter? His body, it's tangled up in some kind of pipe. Should I investigate? Yes. There's something in his coat. What? Yes, look in the coat pocket. Keys of liberation. Some the evil looking keys held by the corpse of Walter. Okay. Refrigerator, bags of blood, and things like that. I know there was two places to use that. Oh, this room looks Excuse me? Wasn't that. I don't have enough candles for you to be spoopy right now, okay? <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for this video, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Silent Hill 4. I'll see you all in the next video.